think it's fair to say that the the era of the fintech as the sort of dominant meme in 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 the financial technology convergence space is is coming to an end um it was coming to an end anyway but but covid i think has accelerated it and we're moving into what uh, i'd be tempted to call the open banking era but it's more amusing in marketing terms to call it the tech fin era so what i mean by that is that because of the actions of regulators because of changes in technology because of new business models the fintechs were people who were making money out of financial services but delivering them more efficiently using new technology you know the neo banks for example were neo banks i mean they were banks they were using new technology but they were banks and they were making money the same way that other banks make you know in a way they weren't really challenges as such you know they weren't people that were going to disrupt the business model but yeah you know which is the sort of challenger thing i'm interested in so for a variety of reasons we now found ourselves moving into the the open banking era um where either because of pressure from regulators or because of evolution in the private sector you have api technology you have the ability to connect to get the data from banks which is the key resource that's important uh, and do stuff with it and so in that era you'd have to suspect that the tech fins in other words the technology companies that want to embed financial services to make their own products and services more attractive are going to come to dominate the crucial thing about the tech fins of course is that not only do they not particularly care about the margins on the financial services those margins can be low they can be zero or actually in some cases we've already seen those margins can be negative in the case of marketplace lending in other words <clears throat> people are quite prepared to lose money on lending to vendors if they make more money by keeping those vendors in their marketplace so tech fins don't make money in the same way as fintechs and therefore the same way as incumbent financial services do and this is what makes them more of a challenge this is what makes them challenges challenges are people who disrupt business models not not people that use new technology in interesting ways so if you assume that's that's what we're looking at what can the incumbent fins and fintechs what can they do well essentially there are only three strategies they could follow they could try to uh, disrupt the marketplace themselves by offering a full service that is the financial products plus the distribution through new media in in a combination that uh, delivers scale and scope alternatively they could and and, you know, and that's certainly for the big players the city banks and the barclays and so on they'll they'll do that i'm sure alternatively they could focus on providing the financial services products and the best api is to deliver them and then let you know just accept you can't compete on the distribution side and let other people distribute and and some especially for some of the the new banks i think that might turn out to be a uh, best way forward i mean i'm i'm not an expert enough on on different banks balance sheets and so on to but i think it worked for some of them or thirdly they could essentially try to focus on the distribution themselves become a more trusted distribution partner and source the financial products from other fins and fintechs so you know just to take a simple example i could go to my barclays app and i choose some particular financial product it just happens that product comes from you know i don't know goldman sachs or somebody I think that last one is a little brave because I think if you're going to compete in the distribution space you're not competing against other banks you're competing against Amazon and Facebook and Google and Baidu and Alipay and Tencent and that's that's pretty tough competition so if you rule that out that means a big focus on producing products more efficiently which means essentially going into the reg tech space because you can't use technology to cut any more costs out of that it's all about aml kyc ctf pep compliance transaction monitoring when you've just seen the dutch banks former a central transaction monitoring service 
So, <clears throat> so, so what does that say right now? That says a focus on reg tech, a focus on fintech, if that's what you're going to do as a full service offering, or basically focus on what you can do that the tech fins can't. And, it, and in my book, one of the primary things is its identity, its identity, reputation, trust. Those are the things that banks can do that techs have trouble competing with. Not to say they couldn't do it in the future, but they have trouble competing with it. 